Now let's turn our attention to Haiti. The Caribbean island nation is in turmoil. Gang violence has erupted across the country and the capital, Port-au-Prince, is under siege. Amid this chaos, Haiti will soon be leaderless. Prime Minister Ariel Henry has agreed to resign. That was a key demand of Haitian gangs. Henry was unelected, so the gang said he was not fit to lead. And they used Henri to justify their rampage. But now that he has stepped down, what next? A power tussle, a struggle for control. And leading the charge is one man, Jimmy Cheridzia, better known as Barbecue. Who is this man? And why is he so powerful? Here's our report. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, the country will suffer a genocide. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, if the international community continues to support Ariel Henry, they will lead us directly into a civil war that will end in genocide. That's Jimmy Cherizier, better known as Barbecue. Barbecue sounded the bell and Prime Minister Ariel Henry's goose was cooked. After the Council of Ministers tonight accepted to put into place a transitional presidential council, the members of the council will be picked after agreement with different sectors of the national life. The government I am running will remove itself immediately after the establishment of the said council. Barbecue set fire to Haiti and the Prime Minister has been forced to step down. But who is Barbecue and how did he get so powerful? Powerful enough to cook up a civil war. Well, Barbecue is no ordinary fire starter. He was once on the other side of the divide. He was once a police officer, but he was fired in 2018 over his alleged involvement in extrajudicial killings. There was the Grande Ravine massacre in 2017, where more than nine people were killed by the Haitian police. Then, in November 2018, another massacre took place, the La Saline massacre. 71 people were killed. 400 houses were burned down. Barbecue was apparently involved in both incidents. And a month after La Saline, he was kicked out of the force. Barbecue even faced US sanctions over the bloodbath, but that did nothing to stop his rise. After getting fired, Barbecue joined Haiti's gangs. He currently leads a coalition of gangs in Haiti called the G9 Family and Allies. This group has been wreaking havoc for years, without any punishment. Initially, it was because Barbecue had support from the top. Barbecue was allegedly working for Haiti's former president, Jovenel Moise. He became the president's unofficial enforcer, enforcing order in the streets of Port-au-Prince and rounding up people to vote for his patron. But then, Moise was assassinated in 2021. In his place came Ariel Henry. Henri became Prime Minister and Acting President. He was put there by an international coalition to bring back order to Haiti. But he could not manage that alone. Two weeks ago, Henri went to Kenya. This was to sign a deal. That would have allowed the Kenyan police to lead an international force in Haiti. This force could have finally countered Barbecue and his boys. So it had to be stopped. When Henri left, Barbecue began his coup and everything seems to have gone according to plan. So what's next for Barbecue? We demand that the choice of the person who is going to lead this country we live in will be made by the Haitian people. We want to make sure the person who is going to lead this country's wife and children live in Haiti. We want to make sure the people who are going to be ministers in this government, their wives and their children live in the country. Basically, Barbecue wants to rule, either directly or by holding the families of the next leaders hostage. Will he succeed or will the next plan be a washout? We'll soon find out.